Going from an idea to a product involves a lot of steps. Design hardware, coding, testing, manufacturing, collecting data and support. On this channel, for example, you saw how I iterate through design, hardware, and coding, and testing for my ultra-low power trigger sensor. Creating a final product is a big challenge on its own, but it was brought to my attention one company that's trying to simplify this process and make it easy for developers like us. And you probably heard of it, it's called Tuya. Let's talk about them and their platform. So Tuya reached out to me and asked to share and bring awareness and attention to their platform. So I'm going to talk a little bit about their platform. From what I understood, their goal is to provide a one-stop shop to fast-track the design prototype, develop apps, and produce smart products using their infrastructure. For example, one way to fast-track the hardware design is by using a dev kit, like their sandwich development kit. They divided this kit into four groups, power, MCU, communication, and sensors. Power boards, these are the power source, like a battery or a wall socket. Microcontroller boards, like Arduino or one of their own MCUs. The wireless communication boards, like Wi-Fi, Zigbee, or Bluetooth. And function boards, these have all kinds of sensors and actuators. Any combination of these boards can be used to achieve a specific product. Uh, for example here, this is one of their microcontroller boards. It uses the WB3S board. If you are familiar with the ESP12 board by Microchip, you might find the look of this chip very similar. They are almost pin-to-pin -pin compatible and they serve the same purpose. An MCU with Wi-Fi capabilities. They can be stacked or sandwiched with a function board like a read switch or an RGB LED. This is very similar to the Wemos D1 Mini Shields, if you're familiar with those. If you have purchased a newer Tuya compatible device like a Wi-Fi switch or light and looked inside, then you most likely found their WB3S MCU paired with a relay. And this was probably the prototype made from the sandwich kit that used for testing before mass production. And this shows how they are trying to help developers to quickly start their design and help mass produce them. The Tuya IoT platform has an extensive portal, documentation, and help pages explaining every single step along the way. It even helps with the creation and customization of Android and iOS apps for the product without even coding. But probably the most impressive part about the Tuya platform is their cloud infrastructure. It allows things like the integration with other cloud services like Google Home and Alexa and the ability to view data collected from the devices and run all sorts of analytics on them. And to finish this video, I want to bring your attention to this device, the Fingerbot. This is a prime example of a prototype started on the Tuya platform and ended as a mass-produced device. And as a bonus, Tuya is currently encouraging developers to join the platform by offering free fingerbots. So check the description for more details. And just to clarify, I was not paid to make this video, but they did send me these to take a look and use. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Peace.